loving YouTube. It's your girl I control it and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back with another motherfucking video and today, 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 I'm going to be walking you guys through my baby powder scented body care hygiene smelling good routine. guys like my new hairstyle because basically I have a new hairstyle and it's giving Bollywood and I'm fucking loving it like let me know down in the comments what you think about it like basically all I did was cut my hair and straighten it but I mean like so that is enough about my hairstyle I think it's only fair that I go ahead and let you guys know about my tips and tricks on smelling really good and baby powdery because that is my favorite way to smell and I'm pretty sure once you try this out that it will be your favorite way to smell as well. So I don't know how many of you have watched my shower routine video but there is such a video up on my channel somewhere. So please do go and watch that because in this video I will not be going into detail about how I shower to get myself really managing like body odor and sweat. This is specifically about products that help you achieve the baby powder smell and that's it basically so step one guys or, pro or product number one is the dove original bar soap so i do usually use two soaps in the shower i did mention in my shower routine that one is to just make sure that i am clean that's usually an antibacterial soap something that i know gets rid of germs and then the second soap that I use is usually for scent and moisture and that I feel like Dove is best known for is being a moisturizing soap guys. If you've ever used Dove soap, you know that that's basically like lotion in a block. Like Dove is a soap that does not dry your skin out. It actually lathers into a beautiful moisturizing soap. However, when I did in high school used to use the original Dove soap on my face, it definitely dried my face up. But for my body, I feel super soft and smooth and the smell is absolutely heavenly. I'm also somebody that's very big on layering and like building on scents. And so the Life Boy Charcoal and Mint um, soap is the one that I, I actually started using it very recently and I absolutely love it. And mixed with the Dove soap, it smells really fresh, really creamy, and oh, it's just top tier. So I would definitely suggest that the first bar soap that you consider using to achieve the baby powder smell is the original Dove soap. And another one that I would also highly, highly recommend is the Dove Gentle Exfoliation or Gentle Exfoliant Soap. I'm not sure what the name is. I've only used that bar soap once and when I tell you I finished that soap so quickly just because of how good it smelled guys. That is a really strong, fresh, powdery, lotiony smell and it lasts really long so I cannot wait to go ahead and purchase myself another one of those. So that would definitely be my top two when it comes to soaps in the shower or the bath to help you achieve your baby powder scent. As you all should know that my second step in the shower is to wash the top half of my body with a scented body wash or even bubble bath. Anything that smells really nice because this step is purely for the smell, the scent of whatever product you're using. And the one that I want to recommend to you guys today for your baby powder scented routine is this one from, what is it called? Kelso or something like that. I forget the name now because I don't have the products with me. But it is vanilla scented or vanilla bean scented. And even though vanilla scented body washes in my experience have been very sweet. This one is quite soft. So it is sweet but it gives off that warm fresh type of vanilla scent and that is why i would recommend it because i feel like when every when anything is a softened version of itself it has a powdery like undertone to it and that's definitely how i feel about this one so in terms of products that you can use in the shower to achieve your baby powder scent 
that's about it the gentle exfoliate exfoliating dove the original dove and then the vanilla scented body wash and then outside of the shower guys i feel like this roll-on is the og i use this roll-on growing up because it is the roll-on that my mom just purchased for me growing up and so this is just what i used for a very long time before i started exploring for myself and guys it's the dove original roll-on so it smells exactly like the soap except the roll-on genuinely smells like powder like it smells like powder and it's a really strong smell i have it on right now wow it smells really good and it leaves no like white marks or anything and it smells really fresh and strong but soft and powdery at the same time so i would definitely say that if you want to achieve that long lasting powdery smell your roll on and your soap guys i mean body sprays and deodorant is obviously a very big key point as well but if you really want to smell in and out like baby powder guys once you start sweating this is the first thing that lets out odor and this roll on basically i don't know how to ex explain it but it basically masks the smell of odor so even if you are like super busy or playing sports or whatever it may be your sweat doesn't smell like sweat it smells like the uh, roll on so you're just gonna smell even more like baby powder and it's like yeah the next product that i really want to suggest and recommend to you guys which is something that i always am suggesting and recommending like no matter what it is is the baby johnson and johnson lightly fragrant lotion guys the one with the pink lid that shit smells bomb it smells like a baby it smells like a baby it smells like a baby and then guys we move on to fragrances and what not and that is literally my favorite part about showering and getting dressed and all of that stuff is being able to live not level but layer all of these different smells to achieve one smell at the end of the day if that makes sense and i mean we already did a lot of that by using you know three different soaps as well as this lotion and the next item that i want to bring to your attention is the by yardley london or something like that the lace spray body spray um deodorant that shit guys i literally the last time i used it was probably when i was around 16 17 years old i was still in high school and i used it because that smell was super fresh and potent throughout the entire day um i was always the type of person to wear my blazer or my jersey and so even on the hot days and so that spray really really helped me out so if you watch my my shower routine video you know like i talk a, a little bit about your natural smell and then finding products to match that so that you don't end up doing yourself a disservice because a product can smell good and be good on someone else but have the complete opposite effect on you so it's really about getting to know your own body odors and smells so that you can find products that best match and complement your natural aroma you get me bro anywho i would also highly recommend that you use some baby cologne and so now i know that the one i use which is the purple one is discontinued guys it is no longer sold which is sad as fuck and also why I do not want that one to finish and there's literally just a few drops left in it but I don't want to let go I personally feel like it's the best smelling one but the next one that I will suggest to you is the pink one I feel like it has a pink lid um I don't want to go ahead and purchase that for myself soon so I will definitely try that out and let you guys know how I feel about it but as for now and since forever I've been using the purple one but I'm probably going to have to move on to the pink one now. <laughs> this is a very, very obvious product within the baby powder scented routine because it is baby powder. But I feel like I have to mention it because this really helps a lot with absorbing sweat, guys, and any moisture that your body may produce. 
as well as it leaves off that powdery smell so the one that i use today is the freshly scented one i really really love the original one as well and i feel like that one has a more powdery smell than the one i use today but this one is super fresh which i like using for daytime whereas the other one i would probably use for nighttime but any baby powder is perfect and just apply it in areas that you sweat the most which for me would be over here just underneath my underarms my inner thighs and under my bum cheek and then I believe the last product that I used to achieve my baby powder scented smell what is the 007 perfume that I honestly got at like a random shop. I don't even remember where it's from but it's a very very cheap perfume guys. I buy a lot of cheap perfumes because I am not rich yet and I absolutely love smelling good and I use so much fragrance that I cannot even if I could afford it like it would be dumb for me to buy extremely expensive stuff especially now that i'm in the stage of just like learning and exploring you know i just use a lot of fragrance guys and i try different things out maybe twice a day sometimes i try different routines out because i just want to see how everything smells and so i've been using you know cheap perfumes and this one actually smells really good i wouldn't say that it lasts that long compared to the rest that i've tried out which i'll definitely make a video on like i feel like the perfumes deserve another video but um it doesn't last as long but it does smell really good and it just leaves a really good sweet powdery smell so it's very powdery and light but it's just a little bit sweeter than all the other products that I mentioned earlier in this video. So it just gives it a little bit of like vibration. Do you know what I mean? A little bit of cool. It, it gives like a floral, floral sweet scent. You know, not like a sugar sweet, like a flower sweet. So it has that powdery, natural, you know, soft scent. And it just ties in so really well. And then, this is weird, but the toothpaste that I use as well, guys, I feel like that also contributes to my baby powder scent because of the taste and smell of this um, toothpaste. It is the pink one from White Glow. I believe that it's the one for sensitive teeth. And obviously, I believe it's really good for my mouth and my oral hygiene, but the smell as well. Like, I don't know if I'm the only person, but a lot of the time, I just can smell people's toothpaste you know the toothpaste that they use i can smell if you're using a super minty one or that red one that tastes like cherries you know like you can just tell by the way somebody's mouth smells and i'm not going around like smelling people's mouths it's just like that's something that happens sometimes and sometimes you don't even need to be really close to someone when they talk you can just kind of get a whiff of whatever toothpaste they use and i really like this one i feel like it complements this body routine really well so yeah if you're willing to change your toothpaste just to fully embrace the baby powder scented routine like do that babes you will not regret it and honestly guys i know i spoke really really fast but i didn't want this video to be too long i wanted to give you guys the tea i wanted to give you guys the facts and make it sweet and simple so that you can go and run your bath so that you can start your shower and achieve this beautiful smell guys you can even use it you can try and create this with products that you prefer as well the bottom line is just finding products that have a powdery scent combining them all together but make sure that the undertones match each other otherwise you just can smell like vomit basically like expensive vomit but you know what i mean just pick your scents really well match them really well and you're gonna have yourself a beautiful baby powder powder scented routine these are just the specific products that i recommend and i use that work for me and that i feel like this is the way i want to smell when i want to smell like baby powder and you guys can try it out and let me know if you fuck with it or if you don't fuck with it but if you do use it like please comment under this video and let me know what you think about how it smells and then also you just know how i go around smelling every day and understand why i feel like i'm such a fucking blessing bro like 
I smell good guys like one thing about me my hair may look like shit you know I may not wash my face as often as like most people like fucking thousand times a day but one thing I'm gonna do is smell good and be clean like that's one thing I'm finna do and I'm finna get you like that too you get me okay I'm getting super weird and I wanna edit this video right now cause I'm so fucking excited for you guys to see it and please do not forget to leave a like if you are gonna try this out or if you just love me you can leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't already joined the gang and gang you feel me and I would really love to hear from you guys and what you think about my hairstyle and the routine that I just mentioned or any of the products or you could recommend any products for me or leave any hygiene or beauty tips down in the comment section below I will read them and I would really appreciate them and with all of that being said guys I love you guys so much I am so so thankful for you icons gang and I will see you guys again soon